but our family escaped in lifeboats. We were left all alone on the sinking ship. Then we realized that my brother Fritz was missing. We couldn't find him anywhere. Fritz! Fritz! Fritz, where are you? Fritz, hey Fritz! Fritz, where are you? Come on, Fritz! Fritz, my son, where are you? Where did he go? Fritz, we can't find you. He must be out there somewhere, Anna. Maybe he got out on one of the lifeboats. He wouldn't have gone out on the lifeboat without us. That's just not like him. Maybe he's hurt and unconscious and unable to tell us where he is. I'm worried he's been badly injured. Then he's really in serious trouble. I'm afraid the doctor's office is completely flooded. No! This whole ship could sink at any moment. And if we stay on her, we could all go down with her. I've got to find something we could hold on to and float with so we can get off. But the lifeboats are all gone. What are we going to do now, Ernest? Jack and I aren't able to swim, remember? And even if we could, I don't think we'd be able to make it, even if we had something to hold on to. You're right. But we've got to do something. Besides, I couldn't leave without Fritz, not while there's still a chance of finding him. I just couldn't. We must stick together no matter what happens. <laughs> Let me give some thought to what we should do. We must be ready for anything. Most important, we're a family. We must face the chance of going down with the ship. We'll pray that doesn't happen. Let's go back to our cabin. If the ship stays upright as it is now, our room should be safe. It's slippery. We'll have to crawl. Okay. Oh! Here, I have something that'll help cheer us up. Hey, how about that? The bread isn't too bad, and we have some meat and drink, too. Here, Beck, I have a sandwich. What's the matter? Don't you want anything? I'm not hungry, Dad. I'm really worried about Fritz. I know. But we haven't had anything to eat since yesterday. I'm sure the children are starving. We better eat, Becca, even if we don't feel like it. Go ahead and eat just a little. You'll feel much better if you do. Here you are, Jack. We'll find him, sweetheart. Don't worry. Thanks. That's mm. it. Now, Rebecca, what about you? Go ahead and take it, Becca. Captain! Fritz, hang on to the wood. It's our only chance. Captain, I don't know how much longer I can go on like this. Is there land anywhere nearby, do you think? I don't know, but I can still see the ship. You've got to hang on, Fritz, no matter how hard it seems. We'll make it back to the ship. You've got to hang on. The storm will let up soon. I just know it. I don't think I can... Hold on anymore, Captain. 
Hang on, Fritz. Hold on, my lad. Steady on, Fritz, my boy. It's not over yet. Oh, what's that? There's something caught on my leg here. A rope! That's it. I'll tie you on with a lifeline. This should keep you afloat. But to get it nice and tight. There. Now you'll stay above water, even if you can't hang on to the mast. There. Ah! Ah! Back to the ship! Captain! Captain! Where are you? Captain! Where are you? Captain! Now that we're all full, why don't we get some sleep? In the meantime, I'll figure out what we do next. Ernest, if nothing can be done, I think it would be a good idea if you would lay down and get some rest. I can't sleep here. I'd roll right off the bed. Hmm. Well, then, you sleep on the sofa. You go ahead and lay your head here on the higher side. Now try it out. It's kind of like sleeping on the side of a hill. Get up, Becca. Let me try something. <clears throat> there. Now, give that a try. Yes, dear, that did it. Oh, it's yeah. It's just perfect. Ah, it's wonderful. There, your smiles come back, Becca. Well, Dad, you know how to do everything just right. Yes, there's nothing your father can't fix. I would like a bed like that, too, Daddy. All right. Anna, dearest, try to forget your troubles for a little while and get some rest. Yes, I will try, Ernest. You'll feel much better if you do. Oh, the storm has calmed down a bit. Has the rain stopped? I'll go topside and take a look. I'll go. Anna, I think it would probably be best for you to stay here with the children. It's calm. The rainstorm is truly over. What a glorious sight. Hmm? What's that? Huh? Where are you? My son, Fritz, where are you? Did you call me? What? Where am I? Oh, you're still in the ship, darling. It's all right. I thought I was home. Well, which home do you mean? In Switzerland. The floor doesn't rock back there. You're right. This is the first time the ship stopped rocking since we left the port in London. I know it. Oh, now I remember what happened. We're shipwrecked, but we didn't sink. Right, Mom? Yes, you've remembered right. Mom, where's Dad now? Oh. Well, he's up on the deck taking a look around. Is it morning already? Yes. It was a very long night. Did you sleep well? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, I did. Jack's still sleeping. Jack, wake up! Oh, please, let him keep sleeping. Anna! Yes? <gasps> oh, my goodness! Oh, Fritz! <clears throat> Ernest, what's the matter? Fritz isn't... No, he's only unconscious. Anna, could you get me a blanket, please? Yes, dear. This will warm you. There you go, Fritz. Ernest, where did you find him? He was lying on the deck near the stairs. The action of the waves tossed him back up onto the ship. He was tightly lashed onto a piece of driftwood. <clears throat> I think that's what saved his life. Oh, there his pulse is returning to normal. 
Oh, thank heaven he came back to us. Oh, thank the Lord. Oh, Fritz. I'm glad you came back, my son. Oh, 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 oh. oh Fritz, Fritz, you came back. You're back. I think he's going to be all right. He just needs some rest. We'll take care of him. <gasps> he moved. Oh, he moved again. Oh, my baby. <laughs> Try and let him get his sleep now, Anna. He really needs his rest. Children, let's try and let Fritz rest. The storm is gone and it's peaceful out here. We made it through all right, didn't we? Yes, we did. And look what I discovered this morning. Over there. It's an island! An island! Oh, it doesn't look like it's very far away. The people in the lifeboats must have landed there safely. Well, we'll get over there too. The ship is going to sink and we need to get off of it as soon as possible. But how, Dad? I'll have to figure out some way. Becca, he'll think of something. You know your father. He'll find a way. Yes, I know. Dad can do anything. There's no such word as impossible in his dictionary. Now, don't you start exaggerating, Rebecca. There are some things I can't do, but I don't know what they are. <laughs> 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 After Fritz got his strength back, we quickly built a raft to carry us to the island. There were many things we wanted to take along. Now, now, move! Come on, donkey! He's stubborn as a mule! Push him from behind, Fritz. Okay. Come on, now. Move! Let's go now, donkey. Hmm? Now look. You should be glad you're getting on this raft. You and the chickens are the only animals we're taking with us for now. You see? Come on now, take a jump. That's a good boy. I'm impressed. You really have a way with animals, Becca. Oh, I may not be a doctor like you, but maybe I will become a veterinarian. Oh, my dear Becca. <laughs> I still have to get one last thing from the ship. Fritz, would you help me? Sure, Dad. Oops, I forgot one last thing, oh, too. don't go, Becca, wait. Right here. Hmm? Gee, there are a lot of rifles. Yes, there are. Well, we're not going to need them all. We'll take three rifles and all the bullets. Are you sure three will be enough, Dad? Yay! Oh, goodness, what are you doing with all of those rifles, Ernest? I'm afraid we'll find a use for them. There may be wild animals on the island. And if for nothing else, these rifles will come in very handy when we're hunting for food. Where's Becca? I guess she forgot something on the ship and ran back to get it. Well, then I'll go and get one more thing. What are you going to get? You know the ship may start sinking at any moment. Mm-hmm, but I need a pair of binoculars, and I think there's some in the captain's room. Down there in the cabin? But that's underwater. I'll give it a try. Ernest, are you sure? I'll be very careful. If it looks dangerous, I'll come right back. Let me come with you, Dad. Not this time.
I wonder why he's taking so long. <laughs> well, I'm going to check. Fritz, what do you think you're doing? I'm going to swim to that <gasps> mast and take a look. Be careful, my son. Don't worry, I will. I found them. Great. There's Dad. They're all right. <gasps> we'll certainly need to clean these lenses if we want to see anything through them. Mm-hmm. I was afraid you were both drowning down there, Ernest. It took you so long to come back. I was worried about you. Oh, Anna. You just worry too much, Mother. Where's Becca? Oh my goodness, I'd completely forgotten about her. I'll go look for her. Becca, where are you? Becca? Come on, Fritz. You and I will go look for Becca, too. Okay. Here, Jack. Becca! Where are you? Becca? Becca, are you there? Becca? Use your food. I'll leave it down here for you. But don't eat it all at once, okay? Now eat just a little at a time, because if you eat it all now, you won't have any of it left for later. I wonder if they really understood what I meant. Sure doesn't look like it. Anyway, I'm leaving. There, that should last you a few days. I'll come back real soon, so don't die, okay? Be good and wait for me. I'll get you some water. It's very important to drink lots of water. You know, you can go without food for up to a month if you have water. Stay alive till I come back, all right? I will come back and get you, I promise. I'm sorry, I have to go. Oh, dear Becca. Mom! I didn't know where you were. I thought you were getting into mischief. I was wrong. I'm so proud of you, and I'm sorry, Becca. Oh, Mom, that's okay. I forgive you. You're a good girl, Becca. All right. I think we've got about everything, and we're ready to sail. Yes, sir. Is everyone in position? Hi, <laughs> Ice. Yes. Skipper. Yes. We're setting sail. One, it's Brewster. Yeah. Oh. Brewster. Brewster. Dad, Dad, let's go back. Can we go back and get him, please, Dad? Please, can we? Oh, look. Oh, please, Dad. 
Let's wait for him. He wants to come with us. He's swimming. Don't worry, we'll wait for him. Brewster! Come on! Come on! Atta boy! You can do it! You're almost here! That's it! Come on! Come on! You're almost here! Just a little bit more! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and so we set sail for the island, not knowing what God had in store for us. We wondered what the island would be like. Would it be a peaceful, tropical paradise? Or would it be full of wild animals? Or even cannibals? We would have to wait and see.